hi guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to sew this men's t-shirt without further ado let's get to it so to begin we're going to be needing the following tools so i have my black and gray knitted fabric or jersey fabric my fabric scissors my tape measure some pins and the bodice pattern for the men's t-shirt which i showed you in my previous video so i have the bodice pattern and the sleeves pattern which i'm going to use to cut my fabric so the first step is to place our front and back pattern panels on the fabrics and then cut them out the same goes for the sleeves so i've already done that off camera so i'm just showing you the panels that i have so the next step is to place our front and back panels together, front sides facing each other. Then I'm going to ensure that my shoulder points are properly aligned. Once I do that, I'm going to sew on half an inch sewing allowance. Then I'm going to overlock it to give it a more polished look. So the next step is to attach our sleeves. So I'm going to find my notches and then align them together. Once I do that, I'm going to secure it with some pins, which is going to help me while I'm sewing so I don't overstretch my sleeves. And I'm going to be sewing on half an inch sewing allowance, then I'm going to overlock it. So once I'm done, this is what it looks like. So the next step is to attach our band to the sleeves. So if you've watched my previous video, which I'm going to link above and in the description box below, I showed you guys how to attach a band to a sleeve. So I'm going to use the same method here. So once I'm done, this is what it looks like. So the next step is to sew the sides. So wrong sides facing up, I'm going to sew on half an inch sewing allowance and then I'm going to overlock. However, while I was sewing, I decided to add some stripes to my t-shirt just to give it a bit of a design and not make it look really plain. So I added three stripes. Now I would be showing you in my next video how I did this. So look out for the next video. So I'm going to be measuring my t-shirt to make sure that I have my overall full length, which is 27 inches. So once I mark that point, I'm going to fold in the excess, which is my hemming allowance. So I'm going to fold that in and sew a double stitch. Once I'm done, this is what it looks like. Now the next step is to sew in our neckband. So for the neckband, I've already cut out a long stripe which was 20 inches long and 2 inches wide. So what I'm going to do is to show you an easy method to attach a neckband. So you're going to first of all find the shoulder point and mark 1 inch away from the shoulder point. So we're going to do that on both sides, so 1 inch away. So once we do that, we're going to get the band. Now, on that band, you're going to start two inches away from the, from the top of the band. So two inches away, 
and then we're going to start sewing from that first mark so the aim is to gradually while we are sewing to stretch the band starting from that point to stretch the band all the way to the second point so you need to take your time if you have to pin it together please do pin it to have more security while you're sewing so i'm going to gradually stretch my band while i'm sewing until i get to the second point now once i get to the second point i would I will have excess fabric now do not trim off the excess fabric the only time you're allowed to trim it off is when you have a lot so let's say you have five inches of extra fabric left because you really need probably like two inches so once you're done sewing you should have something like this so you need to trim off the excess that you have if it's really long so for me i'm just going to trim one of them so now we need to close the gap so before you do that you need to measure what you have left on the neckline and then use that for the neckband now remember that we need to stretch the neckband on the neckline so whatever measurement you have on the neckline just take out a bit and then use that on the neckband so you still have to stretch that on the neckline if you get what i mean so once you're done sewing that you're just going to close up that gap so once i did that i went back to overlock my neckband and then top stitched so this is the finished look of the men's t-shirt. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video and I hope you've learned something new. So if you did, please give me a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe. Until next time, have a good day.